In this video, we are going to look into one of the most important theorems, generally called as a midpoint theorem. The theorem itself states that the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and equal to the half of it. There is nothing but. Now, we have got a triangle ABC. Now, the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle. Now, AB and AC are the two sides of the triangle. The point D and point E are the midpoints of those two sides of the triangle. The line segment DE joins them. Now, if this happens, then DE is parallel to the third side, that is BC. And is also equal to half of the third side. So, DE is equal to half of BC. If BC is 10 centimeters, DE is 5 centimeters. That is what the theorem states. Now, what is given? Given is a triangle ABC in which D and E are the midpoints of sides AB and AC respectively, DE is joined. Now what do we have to prove? We need to prove that DE is parallel to BC and DE is equal to half of BC. Now in order to prove, we need to do a small construction which is nothing but we need to produce the line segment DE such that DE becomes equal to EF. You, you need to produce it to F such that the length of DE is equal to length of EF. So let us mark it here. So this point is F for us and then we need to join FC. Now let us go to the proof part. Now as far as the proof is concerned we need to consider the two triangles. Triangles AED and CEF. Now considering these two triangles we have AE equals CE because it is already said that E is the midpoint of AC and we also have angle AED equals angle CEF. These two angles are equal because you know that vertically opposite angles and we have DE equal to EF because that is what we constructed. We constructed in such a way that EF is equal to DE so that is from construction. Now, so by side angle side congruence criterion, we have proved that triangle AED is congruent to triangle CEF. And so we have AD equal to CF. Now, why is that? Because now that we proved uh, triangle AED is congruent to triangle CEF, we can prove anything else is also equal to anything else of the other triangle. So that is Nothing but corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. That is C, P, C, T. And we also have angle A, D, E equal to angle C, F, E. The reason being same, C, P, C, T, C or C, P, C, T, E in fact corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. Now, now D is the midpoint of A, B. D being the midpoint of A, B, we have AD equals DB and we also have DB equals CF. AD is equal to DB and DB is equal to CF because that comes by construction. What we effectively did was we just extended DE as much as the length of DE that is to EF and then we join it which makes this uh, whole thing that is DFCB a parallelogram. So therefore the opposite sides are equal so we have DB is equal to CF. And we also, I mean, if you don't want to go so far, we have AD equals DB and AD is also equal to CF. Therefore, DB is equal to CF. That's also another way of proving that D, DB equals to CF. Now, DF intersects AD and FC at D and F respectively such that angle ADE equals angle CFE. Because it is a transversal, therefore we have interior alternate angles. Alternate interior angles. So now, therefore, we can prove that AD is parallel to FC. AD is parallel to FC and also DB being parallel to CF. So from 3 and 4, say let us consider DB as point 3 and let us consider this as point 4. So we have from 3 and 4 that is db equal to cf and db is parallel to cf which 
says that DBCF is a quadrilateral such that one pair of sides are equal and parallel to each other. Therefore, we can declare now DBCF, that is with adequate proof, that DBCF is indeed a parallelogram. So therefore, if DBCF is a parallelogram, we naturally have DF being parallel to BC and DF equal to BC. So one we've already proved. We need to prove that df by proving df is parallel to bc we proved that the third side the line segment joining the midpoints of the two sides is parallel to the third side this is already done so now all we have to prove is de is half of bc now what we have to do is de is parallel to bc but de and fr they all lie on the same line and we can also say that de equals ef when df is equal to bc and de equals ef that clearly shows that de is half of bc so here we go and prove that DE is equal to half of BC. So this ends the midpoint theorem.